the noble RDA by Vaporgate. Mwa ha 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 ha. Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vapor and today we're looking at the Noble RDA by Vapergate. I know many of you are wondering about the last week's giveaway, which is tons of real liquid. We'll jump onto that in a minute like we always do. But first we've got to review this, so we're going to talk about specs, then we're going to talk about my opinions, then we're going to talk about why it's rubbish. Spoiler! And then we're going to talk about last week's giveaway and this giveaway. Let's do this! Right! Now! I haven't done an unboxing for this video purely because there's not really much to talk about. It comes in this awesome tin, which you can obviously use for if, if your coils and screwdrivers and whatnot, a little utility box. It's quite tough to get into the first time. But once you get in, you got your little pack, you got your Allen key set uh, with a flathead screwdriver, spare screws, spare o rings. And then in here, you've usually got your top cap with your uh, mouthpiece in, you've got a metal chamber, the glass chamber, and the build deck. Like I said, if you remove that foam, then you can use it as a utility tin, which I think is quite cool, it's a nice idea. Oh, I like it! It's a porcelain 25mm deck design. 25mm porcelain, two points in one. Boom! It's available in black or stainless steel. Now, both of them options come with the glass, which you will see I'm using right now. I'm obsessed with the glass see-through things, be it hardware where you can see the motherboard, the circuit board, or an RDA where you can see, or RTA where you can see the coils. I love it! Standard 810 drip tip with four-way AFC pin, fins, fins, not pins, fins. And it's got bottom airflow. Now that's it, we pretty much run out of things to talk about, it's that simple. Now there's one more thing to talk about, it stands at 36mm high. So now we're done. Um, I, I don't know really where to start, because I love it and I hate it in every aspect. So we'll just start off with why I bought this to review, it's because I look like I've said, I love the clear aspect. I love that you can see the coils and all that. On the downside of clear RDAs, RTAs, RDTAs, is it's not realistic. You'll always have condensation. Well, I'd show you what I mean. See, a minute you got vapor in there, which looks really cool. Pull the vapor out. After two or three times, you start to get the spitting on the glass and the condensation and it starts to look a bit shoddy. That's same for all glass RDAs, RTAs that I've ever used. Um, so in the theory they look really cool, but in reality they don't look as cool as you'd quite hope. Um, I suppose you can constantly play with it to make it clearer, but you know I mean, that's not the point. Kind of like... Hey, how you doing? I mean, it doesn't work, it doesn't have the same effect. It's not as cool as you would imagine. Take it as a fact, that is how it is. Um, so then going on to the build, I'll show you in a minute I'm going to do a build tutorial. I'll show you the deck design and you'll see what I mean. There is no brilliant way to build this. Uh, there might be, uh, but there's not that much information online about it. I did have a look because I was struggling. I've built it about six, seven times, probably more than that, with completely different designs each time. I've not done special like quad coils or all that, because it was struggling with two coils. My view is the airflow because you've got the centre that the airflow comes through. And on that you've got the airflow that comes up and the airflow that comes out. And I don't think it's big enough, I just generally don't think there's enough airflow. Um, failing that I did do an 80 watt coil build. And that probably one of the best I did. Uh, I can't remember what coil I used though, to be fair. Um, in regards to positioning, yet again, it, it's hard to tell. I, I'd go for slightly higher than lower, but, but it is really hard to tell, guys. Um, so design, I love it, in theory. Um, and in use, it's not the worst RDA I've ever used, 
but it's certainly not the best. If you're looking, if you're looking for an RDA for using between 50 and 80 watts, it's probably ideal for you. Other than that, it's not. I've said it many times before on my reviews for RDAs. If I've got a rebuildable, I want to build it how I want, when I want, and that should produce great flavour. That's a good idea. With an idea that you someone, because I know someone's going to comment going, if you build it like this, it's amazing. No, if you build it like that, and only that way, you may as well just have a tank. I want to be able to put as many different types of coils in, as many different types of builds in, and it tastes amazing. That's why I use a V-God, by the way, because no matter what I do with that, I can get great flavour out of it. Um, so that's, that, that's how I review rebuildables, because I, I want to look at what it can do and its capabilities. If it's just limited down to one way for brilliant output, it's rubbish uh, in my eyes. So like I say, it's not the worst, but it's certainly not the best. And it's not going to make it onto the good hardware. Um, if you are a collector of RDAs, RTAs and tanks, I would suggest getting one because it is a cool little piece of kit. But it's really not the uh, awesome, most awesome. I have had some really thick clouds out of it though. The vapor production can be pretty damn good on it. But I've never got a really decent flavour hit on it. Let's just play for a minute. The, 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 uh, the, the, the time to play is now. There is one more thing I want to show you before we go to the giveaways. I've decided I've got a new trick. It's called the train. Are you ready? It's the train, guys! Here's the train! Now, the liquid giveaway. I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to you all because you've been absolutely incredible and you've gone out your way to make this as good as it ought to have been. My Facebook post on it has had 124 shares. That is amazing. Thank you all, guys. Please share this video as much as well. Please. Please. I'd be really, really grateful. But thank you all. Um, that means a lot to me, and it plays justice to the manufacturers of the liquids that donated so much, so thank you. Yet again, I'd like to give a massive shout out to EL Science and Alpha Labs. Uh, I'll drop a link down in the description. And there is Alpha Labs also, uh, EL Science also give me a flyer for 50% off at Phoenix Vape Lounge. I think it said that's running for about two more months, so I'll drop a link in the description. And I also want to say I'm really, really gutted. Uh, 273 comments on that video as an entry to win the liquids. And I swear to God, I wish I could give you all something. But I can't. So I'm sorry. Um, but I am truly grateful for everyone that's entered. And I wish you all the best luck, seriously. Um, so we're going to do a giveaway. <clears throat> something that I rarely do is go into detail about how we choose the giveaway. Here we've got comicpicker.com, uh, the YouTube section, and literally all you do is scroll down, enter the Earl, filter duplicate users, that basically means if someone's commented 10 times, they'll only have one entry, uh, get YouTube comments, 134 unique commenters, and jug of wine, it's, it's that simple, jug of wine's one. Uh, his comment was, Voice Supplies are awesome for helping out a small channel. What do you mean small channel? We're huge! Uh, so, Jug of Wine, you need to message me on Facebook or Instagram to talk about the postage. Um, there's still a chance for the rest of you though, so don't unsubscribe yet. Because if Jug of Wine says, actually that postage is a little bit out of my price range at the minute, for example if we're in Australia, then I'll put it, instead of putting it back into a charity box, I'll re-raffle it. So there is still a chance that you might win. Who is it? Um, Jug of Wine message me on Facebook or Instagram, Vape Mill UK. Uh, and we'll talk about your postage. You've got two weeks to claim. I will comment on your comment to let you know you've won. Now what you have to do to win the Vapor Gate Noble is the exact same. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, press subscribe. If you are, it doesn't matter. Go down, comment. That's it, kaboom, you are entered into the giveaway. Um, 
good luck all. Don't forget to read the terms and conditions. And please, please, please share. Ring the bell. All that malarkey. Thumbs up. Um, I'm going to leave you on this. We're going to go out to look at the build deck of the Noble. Do a quick, quick tutorial. Not going to too much detail because let you all play your own way. Uh, if anyone has got any questions on the Noble, feel free to ask in the comments. I do try and my best to answer every single comment. Um, but until next week, guys, there's one thing you need to do. Do not ever, ever, ever forget to stay cloudy. You know you love it. Right, so here we've got the components of the Noble. Got the glass chamber, which you've also got the metal one in the tin. You've got the deck. Now you've got Allen screws here, here and here. Can you see it? Allen, 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 Allen. Uh, there you put postless deck. And here's what I mean. So the airflow is banging in here, banging through here. Which aren't small airflows holes, but they're certainly not big airflow holes. And then you've got your airflow that comes up. And it can either come out or out sideways uh, on both sides. Uh, I don't know. It, it seems to be for me that it's the airflow that do not work. But we'll, we'll see. Now, if you remember me saying the four way, that's there. Look. So you can't, you've actually got a bit of airflow control uh, in there because the removable 510 pin, uh, 810 tip. I've got serrated edges on, and if you look through the hole, you'll see the four way holes. The RP days, boom, so that goes on there. Discard that, and we'll start building. For this, I'm using fused Clapton's. Not very thick, well, I, I was using a thicker one, but I was struggling to get it. Because it's so small, I'm struggling to get one ohm. At no point one ohm. Shoo. I can't remember how long we want it. Well, about that size is alright. Let me just measure that for you. So you're looking at about 9, 10 centimetres. And I also need two of them. You have another cut. Oops. Broke it. I'm using 2.5 jig. And I'm not going to use the jig, I'm just going to use it as a, as a guide. I've generally found 4 or 5 wraps. Looking from the top works best, so that's one, two, three, four. Fix that side a bit. Pull it in. There you go, so we've got two, four, that's six. But interesting fact, if you don't know, you count the wraps from the bottom. Because if it's not a complete wrap, it doesn't class as a wrap. So five or six, depending where you're looking at it from. And we're going to do it again. Pull it tight. Real tight. One more to do the trick. There you go. Get rid of that. So now there's two coils. No, yeah, it's not often I use a measuring jig gauge, but for this one, I'm going to because you need your legs quite long. At the very smallest, eight. This all goes up to eight. I printed it. Sometimes I've been using the cutters upside down to make it about nine or ten. 
So if you use the cutters upside down, it doesn't quite give you a clean cut. Uh, it gives you a clean cut, but not to the base, making it a little bit longer. Do another one. Cut it. Cut it. Bang, so there you go, we're going to bang it in, then burn it off, make sure it burns even, wick it, and go for it. Uh, so I'll just go bang it in fast, because I don't know you don't want to see this boring bit. Let's crack on!